This is a video of my kayak build from idea to launch. In July of 2012, a friend of mine posted photos of a hiking trip that he and his sons had taken to North Manitou Island. After talking with him about his trip, he shared a dream that he had to someday kayak to the Manitou Islands. It was then that my project began. After researching various types of kayaks and designs, I picked up a copy of Nick Shade's book, The Strip Built Sea Kayak. I wanted to build my kayak from scratch. I found a design I liked, and from a table of offsets, I began plotting the forms for the hull. I enlisted the help of two of my daughters. I figured it was a great time for them to learn along with their dad. Once the forms were cut, we placed them along a 2x4 that acted as a strong back. The completed form gives you a feel for the size and shape of the kayak. Once I was done with the form, I spent days ripping cedar boards into strips and giving each one a cove and a bead. For some reason, I didn't get any pictures of that part of the process. strips on the form. I worked my way up from the shear to the keel. the build process, whenever the construction of the kayak seemed to feel like work, I'd put it away, sometimes for months on end. This extended the build process for a little longer, but I enjoyed it much, much more. along the way. Aside from planing the tip of my thumb off a couple of times, closing the hull went pretty smoothly. Then it was on to the deck. The process was pretty much the same as the hull. The only thing that was a little challenging was deciding on what I wanted the wood pattern of the deck to look like. decision to put a couple of strips of pine on the deck in order to give it a nice accent color. out in the garage and chat with me while I worked, sometimes even posing for a photo. Once I was done stripping the deck, I had to cut out the cockpit recess and strip that. Then I began what seemed to be the endless planing and sanding of the deck and the hull in order to get a nice smooth surface.
once the wood was sanded smooth, it was time to lay out the fiberglass cloth. This cloth gets filled with an epoxy resin. It's at this point that you can finally start to see what the finished deck is going to look like. process is repeated for the outside of the hall. Once both the outside of the deck and the hall were fiberglassed, it was time to put the vertical pieces for the combing. I also laid out the location for the hatches and clamped the combing lip into place. By far, the most stressful part of this kayak build was cutting into my freshly stripped deck in order to create the hatch openings. It's super cool to finally be at a point where you have two halves of a kayak that are fiberglassed. And you can put them together to see what the final product's really going to look like. Before it's ready to be put together, there's still some work to be done. I added some cheek plates and also some supports for the hatches. are ready to be put together. So I have to tell you at this point, I thought I was pretty close to being done. Little did I realize how much more sanding I had to do to fill this in and to get it nice and smooth and ready for a coat of varnish. But before I was ready for a coat of varnish, I needed to do an end pour in order to seal the bow and the stern. Finally, my first coat of varnish, and then a second, and sanding, and then a third, and then sanding, and then a fourth. And sanding, well, you get the picture. nothing like the feeling of when all of your coats of varnish are done and all of the sanding is over and it's time to take care of your hardware. So we 
loaded up the family and the kayak, and we all headed out for the maiden voyage. Everyone got a turn. Here's a short video of one of the first trips I took on Lake Erie with a new kayak. Although it was a lot of work, building this kayak was a blast. We're in the process now of planning our trip to the Manitou Islands.